Hi, we're from Tech Support here at Cadet. My name's Thomas and this is Steve. And we're here today to show you how to install a four foot baseboard heater. So before you install the baseboard, you're gonna to wanna to read up on these things. All this information can be found in the owner's guide, but also we have some great videos on our YouTube channel. You're gonna be working with a live panel. You sure don't wanna get yourself shocked or electrocuted. If you feel uncomfortable, stop here, get an electrician to do this work for you. So I'm gonna go over some of the tools that we're gonna to need to install the baseboard to the wall. A tape measure, a stud finder, wire strippers, a drill, Phillips head screwdriver, flathead screwdriver, a meter, and something to cut the baseboard trim with. We also need screws, wire nuts, and a strain relief connector. For a new installation, you're gonna to have to route power from your circuit panel. You're gonna be setting up a new circuit you're going to be routing wire to your wall thermostat, if you have a wall thermostat, or directly to the heater wall cam. Okay, what are you doing, Thomas? Well, I'm locating the studs in the wall. Okay. So we can go ahead and mount the baseboard. Stop! Before you do anything else, you're going to want to turn your breaker off. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take a measurement of the baseboard, transfer that measurement to the trim, and then we're going to go ahead and cut the trim out. So I have an inch and three quarters to the edge of the baseboard to the center of the knockout that we're gonna use. So I'm gonna measure over an inch and three quarters, make my mark. So we got the 48 inch baseboard here and the four footer. So what we're gonna do is measure out 48 inches. Perfect. Now we'll go ahead and cut our uh, baseboard molding. So Thomas is using this uh, power tool here to do the cutting today. However, if you don't have that, you could use a Dremel tool, or another option is remove the molding, cut the pieces, and reattach them back to the wall. Next, we're going to pre-drill our holes to secure the baseboard to the wall. You could also place the baseboard against the wall and use the star dimples. Pre-drilling the holes allows you to see where your screws are gonna go in from the front. Okay, Steve, so next what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a flathead screwdriver, okay. and we're gonna remove the knockout. Okay in correspondence with where the uh, wire goes. Now I'm gonna move the Phillips screw to get into the wiring compartment. Make sure you put the set nut on the wire before you put it through the baseboard. So we're gonna pull the wire through the knockout in the back of the heater, and we're gonna install a strain relief connector. Well, we've got our uh, heater uh, laying against the wall. We've got our supply wire ran in uh, through the knockout. The knockout's secure. Yeah, Stephen, another thing we're gonna wanna do is make sure that the uh, that the baseboard's level, so we got a okay. level here. How's that look? Hey, it looks perfect. Nice. Wow, right in the bubble there. Perfect. Okay. We're ready to mount that thing to the wall. Hey, you remember those holes that we had pre-drilled before? Those are the holes you're going to be used to securing your baseboard to the wall. Now we're going to go ahead and remove the ground screw and, and secure our copper ground lead from the supply to that. Baseboard's on the wall. Next thing we're going to do is install the thermostat, but that's another video. Thanks for joining us. Have a nice day.